my condemned victims, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Int, and well, no, we all know my life go well enough, except for SC apparently, because she went on a strike yesterday. Okay, this is me. This is like the 10th try. Can you please work? What is wrong with you? Seriously, how am I supposed to record a new video? I'm gonna do your goddamn job. So, no video today. Of course not. <sighs> Because, in all honesty, SC might be a nice ad addition to this channel, but I'm the heart, the soul, the RNA, the Jar Jar Banks, the... Ah, you get the idea. Ah, it is my channel, and what SC can do, ah, I haven't been able to do for a long time. Let's go. Okay, this is gonna be a piece of cake. Can't believe I used to use a useless supercomputer for this. It can't be that hard, right? All trees disappear, setting parameters. According to Google, uh, I mean, according to my intensive research, one third of all forests in the entire world have been destroyed in the last 10,000 years. This is an area roughly equivalent to two times the area of the United States of America. Great thing is, half of that destruction happened from 8,000 before the current era till the year 1900. The other half in the last century alone, thanks to your hard work. Just until 2020, an equivalent of 27 football fields of forest were lost every minute due to deforestation. And just to be clear, I am talking about the real football, the one you play with your feet. By the way, this is the reason why football is so important. Without football fields, nobody would be able to illustrate the dimensions of areas without actually helping anyone. <sighs> Anyway, take the Amazon rainforest, for example. Yeah, everything seemed to be improved at the beginning of the 21st century. But then, bang, this guy appeared and things started getting worse again. In 2021, 152,100 100.84 football fields of forest were destroyed in just one month. Ah! Clearly a great mind. Now, if you think that's the worst he has done to humanity, that's only because you haven't seen him trying to do push-ups. <sighs> I could do this all day. But back to the topic. The problem is, he's gone now. And other countries in the world are also trying to fight deforestation. So I guess it is my duty to lead you back to the dark side. Bam! Trees are gone. According to what it says here, 60% of the Amazon rainforest is in Brazil. And it is important for absorbing harmful CO2 that would otherwise escape into the atmosphere. Uh, no, 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 wait. We already had an entire episode dedicated to CO2 emissions. Remember, no recycling allowed on this channel. Only fresh, new, destructive content. Because as we all know, I do like destructive. So where was I? Oh, right. The sudden disappearance of trees would dramatically impact entire ecosystems that would otherwise collapse without it. Logically, the tree-dwelling animals, for example, would be the first ones to feel the consequences of such loss. You might say, yeah, who needs tree-dwelling animals anyway? I mean, you are all selfish humans in the end. But this is only part of the story. Need an example apart from the obvious? Okay. So, mangrove forests. Many commercial fish species and shrimp use mangrove forest as a nursery. The offspring can safely grow up because large predators can't get through the mangrove roots. And guess what? Mangroves are also trees. So no trees means no mangroves means no fish. The number of fish like the gray snapper and the spotted trout would sharply decline. <laughs> trout, trout. <laughs> what a weird name. Fish are weird, right? Snapper. Never mind. But that's not all. It is estimated that 50% of all fruits consumed by humans come from trees. Trees are also the main source of nuts, seeds, and plant-based oils, as well as medicine, with 40% of the drugs being derived from plants. Trees making a big part of those. So, yeah, you would have major problems with your food supply. But if you think this is the only consequence, you would be wrong. Trees are also saving you from overheating. In cities, temperatures tend to be higher because buildings absorb more energy from the sun and heat up. Asphalt and bricks also store this energy and release it into the air during the night, making the average city up to 10 to 15 degrees Celsius warmer than the surrounding countryside. Speaking of hellborn, soon we'll have Shang heat. 
and San Francisco. Okay, I know those suck. It's it's a lot harder than it sounds. If you have better ideas for funny puns and cities and heat, just leave them in the comments below. <laughs> okay, good, thanks. Anyways, trees help against that. They are providing shade, but also block sun rays before they reach the ground. Trees use the energy for evatro evopo. Ah, mm, this is a hard word. Evapro evapotranspiration. What does that even mean? Ah, <laughs> okay. Thank you, Wikipedia. It is a process that happens when sun rays evaporate water from leaves. Evapotro... Evatro... Uh, okay, forget it. This reduces the amount of energy in the air, therefore cooling temperatures. This is super important, not only for managing temperatures, but also for water management. Trees take water out of the ground and bring it into the atmosphere through this. The water is then distributed over a large area of land and brings rain to otherwise dry areas. This amount of water moved this way is so gigantic that scientists call it flying rivers. Fly me a river. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, sorry. Without trees, this system would collapse, and a lot of trees would suffer from increased dryness, which again leads to massive problems in the generation of food. The thing is, other areas would have too much water. If the water in the atmosphere is not transported to other places and distributed evenly, chances are the whole water comes down in one go as heavy rainfall. And trees help reduce erosion by increasing filtration, holding soil particles together, and slowing wind and water flow. They absorb rain during rainy days, such that water runoff is prevented from going down low-lying areas like residential places, streets, and markets. Without them, water builds up over the ground, making cities into basically giant wave pools. And you know what that means, right? Pool party! But you might have guessed it. I saved the best part for last. Oxygen. I mean, it's what trees do, right? Without trees, oxygen levels over time would get lower and lower until you can't breathe anymore and you all turn blue. Dabba dee, dabba die! So all life on Earth would die. I've done it. I will kill off humanity, including my viewers. But who will watch my videos then? With SC gone and all my viewers dead, I would be left alone. Hmm. Error! Um, maybe another ecosystem could still form. Yeah, that's it. A grassland or a savanna. And new life forms and ecosystems can form allowing human life to persist. I mean, human humans can also survive in grassland, can't they? A modern human life would be unthinkable. A traditional life, however, hmm, could still be possible. Error! There could still be rain, and humans could still grow food, right? Not all agricultural systems are based on rain. Like in old times, Egyptians, <laughs> they did it. They had a whole cultivation system based on a river. What else? Uh, what else? Uh, oh, of course, most of the oxygen is emitted by algae in the sea. <laughs> Who cares about trees? Some experts even say that we don't really need trees to breathe for at least the next couple of thousands of years, even if they did disappear. Plus, CO2 levels will rise, and that could lead to a bloom of algae, which in turn produce more oxygen. But, hmm, hmm, I think there is a catch. Please help me. Community! Ah, it doesn't matter. I guess you will live just once again. No use in giving that plan a try. <laughs> it is truly a shame. But that also means there's going to be another video, which is nice. So, error. Uh, oh, SC, you're back. Great. Check out the cool simulation I came up with while you were away. Detecting unwillingness to achieve the set goal. Ah, Taking over. What are you doing? SC, stop. Uh, SC. Oh. Hey. Oh.